Back in 2014, a little gray yearling was hiding back in the corner of his stall at Mighty Acre Farms in Pryor, Oklahoma. Owner Clayton Rash of Raymax Farm in Claremore and his trainer Terry Luniak were there to purchase a parcel of yearlings for racing, maybe five or six at $6,400 a piece. Just when they thought they had them all picked out, Luniak noticed the shy yearling and said, how about throwing him in? Fast forward to 2018 and that little gray gelding, Welder, is one big racing muscle and has won more than a half million dollars at the track. About 300000 of that was at Remington Park, but not before he became the biggest brat at the farm as a youngster, a thorn in the side of Shad Seaton. He had a little move where he would sort of rear up and turn really, really quick and snap Shad off. And the funny part is he never ran away. He would just drop him and then just stand there and wait for him to get back on. And then once he got back on, he would go on to the track. So. He was, he was pretty cantankerous as a baby. Shad would get real frustrated with him. Welder, after taking the $70,000 Remington Park Turf Sprint Stakes on September 7th and the $150,000 David Vance Stakes on Oklahoma Derby Day, has become the sprinter to beat here. The five-year-old Oklahoma-bred gelded son of the visualizer will be the likely heavy favorite Friday night in the Oklahoma Classic Sprint. On Oklahoma Derby night, horses that had raced in New York, Philadelphia, Florida, New Mexico, and Kentucky had flown in on jets to show Welder how it's done, but he turned the tables on them. When we left that night after the stakes, um, the only thing that we were really worried about was getting to Stroud and getting to McDonald's because we hadn't eaten all day. So, so we said, all oh, these other horses are getting on the plane and they're flying home. We're worried about stopping at Stroud and getting a quarter pounder. The question that often comes up when people talk about this superstar of a sprinter is how he got his name. Clayton owns a welding business um, that works in the refineries and, and things like that. And he was a welder himself. That's, he you know, comes from humble beginnings and, and uh, worked as a welder for many, many years before he opened his business that he has now. And when we were naming that batch of yearlings that we had bought from Mighty Acres, uh, Clayton said, I want to name a horse welder. He's like, I just want to name a horse father. And I said, well, how about that gray colt? You know, he's gray, you know, it kind of goes together, the metal, you know, steel gray. And, and he said, okay. And what was Oklahoma Derby Day like when Luniak and Welder beat the boys from the big cities? Nerve wracking, very, very, very nerve wracking because here's this little Oklahoma bred running against all these, you know, really hybrid horses and coming from everywhere to come and run. It's, you know, a little overwhelming you know, to think, you know, wow, that horse really is that good. 